Hey guys, Street Stand Silver Garage. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It's free. You can unsubscribe at any time, but please subscribe whether you like our enduro races or our hot challenges or my how to videos. That is on. Or me just building this thousand horsepower Civic right here that I'm standing in the uh, engine bay of. Remember, at a thousand subscribers, I'll be getting pepper sprayed and tased at the same time. So please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss anything. And let's get on with today's video. All right, guys, Justin here with another how to video. This is going to be how to actually torque and stretch your bolts for your rods. So these are ARP 38s, uh, 7 16s head, um, ARP 2000 bolts. Um, so they actually recommend to use their fastener assembly lube, which is completely fine by me. We'll use it. They provide it, we'll use it. It actually, you need it because it'll actually help reduce the friction on the bolt and allow it to stretch the amount of, that you need it to. So what you do is you, you get the threads really good here, like so, and then you actually have to do the top of the head because you So we have to take a measurement on the bolt before we actually um, get to tighten it down or do anything. So this has already been oil clearanced. We used uh, some plastic gauge on it. So we are good. We're within tolerance on the rod bearing. So we're gonna go ahead and secure this thing down. Get the lube on all of them, both of them there. <coughs> so we're gonna get this screwed down close to where it needs to be. Okay. Wipe my hand off real good here. So now we got a rod bolt stretch gauge here set up and pardon my glove getting stuck here, but we have a measurement on both of these little um, indicators that are here. So what we're gonna do is here, we're gonna put this down in here. There's a hole on top and there's a hole in the bottom. So there it is, it's locked in. Okay, see how it just sits there and moves around. I'm going to move you guys around here so I can show you what we're actually doing. Let me see here if I can get you guys. Set up kind of where you can see what I'm doing here. This camera kind of hard to get there. Okay, so first off camera will stay here. Let me turn you a little bit. Sorry guys. Okay. So we just put this on. So first off, first thing we need to do is we need to zero this out because this is the zero of our bolt. 
So there, that's zero. Now, this is set for the length that it is before we put any pressure on it. This bolt is loose, I can turn it, okay? So, the stretch gauge is actually set. We're ready to use it. It's set, ready to go. So now what we need to do is torque this bolt. We torque this bolt down. Okay. They call it for 43 foot pounds, so we're gonna start with 43 foot pounds. And if we don't get our stretch, we'll go up from there. Okay, so that's 43 foot pounds of torque there. So now we will check the stretch on the bolt. Now, from line, let me see here, get you guys set back up here where you can see. Okay, it's kind of hard to see the gauge, guys, but from line to line, each individual mark in between that is a half a thousandth. So they want this bolt to stretch five and a half thousandths to 5.9, almost six thousandths. So right now we are at one, two, three, four thousandths with that. So now we have to get up in between these two dials and in between them two marks there, the two points on them black dials, that is our target of where we need this bolt to stretch. So that's at 43. So we're gonna adjust the torque on our torque wrench. Give it another. Okay. Okay, so now we are at uh, four point five. We're at forty five thousands. Okay. So now we need to be at 55. So we'll adjust the torque again. Okay. So we torque this down again. We're at five, five and a little marginal. So we're gonna go a little bit more. This should be about it, guys. Right on 5.5, 5, 55 thousandths. So this bolt is stretched perfect, ready to go. So we're ready to move on to the other side. Let's screw that down a little bit. I'll have to move the camera because the bolt gauge is gonna be on the other side here. And it's gonna be turned a little bit. Okay. 
set you guys up over here so you can see. Okay. All right, guys. So I hope you can see here. This should be on the bolt there. Okay. So there's a little screw here on top, which locks down this front turn plate. So now we zero the gauge out on our bolt because this is our zero point. So now we're on zero. I'll go ahead and tighten this down. Okay. So that's zero. We are on zero with this bolt, so now we need to torque it. We need to be a five and a half. So, let me go a little bit, adjust the torque. be good we'll check it again <clears throat> motor keeps moving on it's kind of hard to hold it still here right on five point well fifty five thousandths straighten this thing up all right guys all right guys if this helped you guys uh do your rod bolt stretch gauge um ended up to get this torque it was at 62 foot pounds um they recommend 43 but they want you to stretch them so mine was not reaching stretching capabilities so i had to increase the torque so we are actually like 62 foot pounds 63 foot pounds on these but nothing is wrong and i'll show you here get you turned down here where you can kind of see here's the engine small wrench on there oh if I don't slip off of there oh but you know one finger it's got three cylinders in right now So, looks good to me. I'm gonna get ready for the next one and get this one set to the top here. So, now I'll be able to get my last one in, guys. And like I said, if this helped you guys, get your, uh, like I said, torque and stretch on your bolts. So please like, subscribe, share. It helps my channel grow. And we will see you on the next video.